I'm back. Rudrance for the Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we talk about insane lunatics like the following. Chelsea Handler. Yeah. Actor, comedian, uh, renowned, noted sufferer of TDS, Trump Derangement Syndrome. She hates Donald Trump with passion. And uh, she has said something that is just... Uh, factually irrelevant because, in fact, whether she likes it or not, being white is a race, and people can, in fact, be racist towards white people. That is also a thing. Um, one of the things that's happened as people try to correct the 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 rights and wrongs of the past which, by the way, is the past. I mean, nobody owns a slave today. That's not a thing, okay? Um, Bill Maher said it right. I don't want to pay the price for what your grandfather or great-grandfather did, uh, you know, was had done to you. Understandable. I don't either. Nobody does. Uh, well, uh, she has come out and she has proclaimed that white men are evil, okay, and that uh, also, there is no such thing as racism towards white people, particularly white men. So if if there's an injustice towards somebody that's white and a male, uh, your opinion is in fact irrelevant to Chelsea Handler. Luckily, I don't go to Chelsea Handler uh, to get any sort of uh, opinions or advice. But uh, I thought this was uh, utterly insane and wanted to highlight it because uh, it's it's ludicrous. But there, I can tell you, some some people that I know myself that are woke, they feel exactly this way. That because I'm white, because I'm a male, I don't get to have an opinion on racial issues. I shit you not. That is the response. Uh, my opinion is irrelevant and I should not even talk about this or bring it up. Yeah, I kid you not. I have lost friends over this exact subject right here. Chelsea Handler says white men owe us an apology and their opinion is irrelevant. This is the blaze. The washed up comedian and darling of the far left cultural elite who previously proclaimed her affections for disgraced former governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, believes white men owe society an apology. Really? Because we didn't do anything. People living right now, walking around, white men, didn't actually have slaves. I'm just letting you know. While, sleep, while speaking with Samantha B. on her weekly podcast, full release with Samantha B., Handler proclaimed, quote, men can be so disappointing. She went on to say, quote, I know it's not all men, obviously. I keep saying that, which is so annoying. Oh, my God. Don't let that be annoying. My brother says, Chelsea, not all white guys are bad. She says, well, you are for even saying that. Don't say that. Okay, she got triggered towards her own brother. Lunatics are going to lunatic. She later con contradicted this statement by proclaiming, no one is saying all white guys are bad. We're just saying there are enough bad ones out there that as a collective, you guys owe us an apology. We don't owe you shit. Handler explained that white men might not individually be responsible for any wrongdoing, but as a collective, they've had a, quote, unfair advantage over women. <laughs> okay. She said, the pattern of behavior of white man in our culture, it's not your fault, but you have to recognize you have an unfair advantage and that women have had to pay the price for that, period. Handler proceeded to proclaim that when a group that is deemed to have privilege issues, an opinion, or voices a complaint, their perspective is irrelevant. <laughs> Unbelievable. She said, it's like, when a white person is arguing about racism as if they have any idea what impact or effect that is, your opinion is irrelevant. 
This is hardly the comedian's first foray into wokeness. Let me let me go back to that statement she made right there. Do you truly believe that people of other races aren't being racist towards white people right now? Really? Because I've experienced that firsthand. I'm not going to get on here and bitch and moan and complain about it. But I'm just saying that is something that's happening. You see, part of this whole issue involving race, there is a certain uh, revenge factor that is going on here, particularly from the far progressive left. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. A lot of these people are seeking revenge against white people. Okay? It's not about trying to better society or anything like that. They want revenge. That is a thing. I guarantee you that is absolutely a thing that's going on is there is a factor of revenge. Not correction. Not not trying to right some wrongs. None of that sort of thing. There is clear revenge there. In July 2020, while speaking with NPR, Handler proclaimed, she is, quote, clearly the beneficiary of white privilege, and she wants to know how to be a better white person to people of color. Handler told NPR that after Donald Trump became president of the United States, she sought therapy to, quote, woke through, work through her politics, but she ended up dealing with race. Handler said after taking a look at herself, and coming to the realization that my success has a lot to do with my skin color, I wanted to do something that set an example about how to contribute. Had nothing to do with your hard work. Had nothing to do with the talent you thought you had or that somebody thought you had. It's because you're white. Okay. Man, got some self, uh, self-esteem issues I see, Chelsea Handler. Because at this point, it's not enough to say you're not racist. We have to be working to dismantle the system because we are reaping the benefits in exchange for people losing benefits. Wow. Like I said, look, you can, you can feel this happening, uh, in a lot of, a lot of different service industries. Now people have gotten much since Joe Biden has taken office. You can tell people that voted Democrat and I'm talking about of any color, When they see a a white boy like me wearing a, you know, mossy oak hat or a flag hat or or whatever, they're not very nice to me. Okay, let's be real. They're rude. They're flat rude. They don't they don't want to do business with me. None of that. Okay, and the idea that, look, you can't be racist towards a white man. Sure, you can. And people absolutely are. Let's not get confused. I have had black friends that have said, look, I'm just warning you. My grandma doesn't like, doesn't like white people at all. Okay. I've got no problems with white people, but she hates white people. Well, that's racist. Okay. That is a racist thing. No different than an old white woman towards black people. That's, that's just absolutely factually something that can happen okay and again part of this a a portion of this that's going on involving trying to correct correct racial rights and wrongs and i think all this privilege crap is horseshit anyway there's no greater privilege in this country right now than being black if you want to know the absolute truth if you don't believe that look at how uh, all new Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson just got $230 million guaranteed from the Cleveland Browns. And the media has, by and large, completely ignored the 22 civil lawsuits from women he's got against him. They have insulated him. That is absolutely a thing. And that itself is a form of privilege. Let's be real, okay? If a a white dude did that right now, he would be smoked, cooked. I mean, that's absolutely a fact. Now, as far as Chelsea Handler goes, this is standard operating procedure. She sort of like became the female Mark Hamill. Trump hater deluxe. Everything is about being woke. 
uh, race to the most woke, waving the flag with people like uh, Alyssa Milano to prove to everybody around her, look at me, I am not racist, I am absolutely woke, all white people are bad, all Republicans are bad, they're all evil. Even, look, and this is a thing that's happening behind closed doors in families. She's telling her brother, you're wrong and racist just for having said not all white men are bad. That's freaking ridiculous, and she feels inconvenienced because people actually bring that up to her. Well, cry me a river. I mean, you lunatic. People like this are nuts. But I absolutely believe that because of their career in the industry they're in, they have a career agenda in saying this kind of crap. Why? Because the media and people in Hollywood will reward this kind of crap. That's why ratings for so many shows have plummeted. It's because of opinions of people like her that that absolutely have uh, skyrocketed in a different direction than common sense everyday Americans, and that's the thing. Nobody with any sense can relate to a lunatic like this. Nobody. And if you do, seek therapy. She needed therapy for Donald Trump. If you think she's right, seek therapy. It's easy. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.